what the heck is severe noise mode? And now there's standard mode. Two new modes? For those of you using Topaz Denoise AI version three or above, uh, you'll want to know that there was an update. This is May of 2021. So if you're watching anywhere around that time frame, uh, version 3.1 just came out and there's a couple of new things inside of there, some new AI models, some renamed things. So I just wanted to walk you through uh, some of the changes that I found inside of there. All right, let's go ahead and jump over to the computer here. So we'll start off inside of Lightroom first. Uh, here I've got a photo, so 25,600 ISO. It was pretty dark when I took this photo. Um, I thought it was you know, a nice portrait of a juvenile sitting on a branch here. So pretty high ISO though, and I'm doing that for a reason and you'll, you'll see that in just a second when we get into Topaz. Uh, I'm gonna jump over to Photoshop, but let's do some quick Lightroom edits and I'm honestly not gonna do anything but click auto. I think it does a nice job. Uh, I might bump up my exposure just a hair, but not too much, something right about there. And then I'm gonna go photo edit in to Photoshop. Now, if I didn't need Photoshop, and I, I don't need it a lot here, but I'm gonna show you what I do need it for, I would just go straight to Topaz from Lightroom. There's no reason to stop in Photoshop if you don't need it. But if you need Photoshop, then I would do that first. So I will hop over into Photoshop. Once we get there, I'm just gonna go over here to my healing brush from the toolbar and option or alt click to sample and then just get rid of a couple of small distractions. Nothing too crazy. Spot healing brush in Lightroom might do it, but it's a little bit finicky. So I just, I usually get better luck inside of Photoshop. All right, and honestly, if I wanted to spend the time, I could probably use the healing brush and even get rid of this whole thing right over here. But in the interest of time, let's head up here to the filter menu. Let's go down here to Topaz Labs, Denoise AI. And as you see the splash screen, you may see a familiar name in there. They used one of my Eagle shots on there. So big thanks to that. And let's go ahead and get our view set up to a single view. So again, uh, we'll go in there and I'm actually gonna zoom into 200% just so we can get a little bit of a better idea. I know in video, it's sometimes harder to see some of this stuff. So a couple of things to notice. And one of the biggest parts is gonna be your AI models. So we have standard, clear, low light, and severe noise. Standard used to be the original. If you click on this little uh, question mark over there, it'll tell you. So standard used to be denoise AI. Clear used to be AI clear. So those were the two main modes that most people used. And the, the denoise AI was probably the most popular of the two. Now it's just called standard because it really is the standard mode. It's probably gonna be, especially for your wildlife photos, probably gonna be the one that you use the most. From there, we've got clear, low light, those haven't changed. Standard hasn't changed other than the name, but now we have severe noise, and this is meant for high ISO photos, which is why I chose a photo at 25,600 ISO. And you can take a look here, I can click on original, and then see the after, so before, after, uh, does a remarkable job of getting rid of the noise. Does it blur the details a little bit? Yeah. It does, but here's the deal, guys. You, you can't expect to shoot at 25,600 ISO and have razor sharp detail and be able to remove your noise. So it's just, just a fact of life when it comes to a, uh, a high ISO like that, okay? All right, from there, one last thing that we'll wanna take a look at here is under view. So this, is, this one tripped me up a little bit, so hopefully I can help save you the time. So under view, I just changed myself to the comparison view. And that's not new, that's been there for quite a while. So when we click on comparison view, we get these four squares here and uh, we can see all the different versions. But what's interesting is now, you know, you have to have one of them as the original and then you've got your three others, but we have four AI models. So no longer can you see all AI models in this four up view. So you have to choose and I, that's fine for me because I honestly usually just care about standard, clear, and most of the time I, I didn't even use low light, but now that severe noise is here, I'll keep it open. But here's how you can change it, all right? So you could see this one. The, the one that you click on has a blue highlight to it. So you can see there when you click on something, it's got a little bit of a blue highlight. So if you wanna change it, the one that you're looking at, just go click on another model and it'll update that one to represent that model that you chose. 
So now I've got standard, clear, and low light, and I don't want low light anymore. I'm gonna click on that one and change that one to severe noise. So you can see standard. I mean, I wouldn't expect it to work the standard mode on a 25,000 ISO photo. So again, that is why the severe noise mode was invented. You know, if I had a, a much lower ISO 1600, 3200 standard would have probably worked just fine, but you can see it's uh, definitely leaving a few artifacts where the severe noise mode is not, okay? All right, from there, we'll cancel out of there and let's take a look. So uh, the last thing I'll let you know is uh, two features that I don't really demonstrate up here, but one of them is gonna be speed improvements. I did notice a little bit of a speed and boost 10, 15% or so, and then Apple M1 support. So if you're using some of the newer Apple technology, uh, they've got the M1 support on there. As always, if you got questions, make sure you head over to Topaz's website and hopefully they can answer all that stuff for you as well as provide you with the update. And if you don't have any Topaz products yet, make sure you check the description below because I got a little coupon code that you can use there uh, and you can use the links in there to save a little bit of cash.